everyone, welcome back to my channel Marley Makeup. This is my first video for 2016, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy it. And it's this makeup look that I'm wearing right now, which is inspired by Georgia May Jagger. Um, I also, in the end of the video, I do a lighter lip color, as you can see that. And I've also done a separate video to show you guys on how to get these rock chick kinks or rock chick waves. Um, in your hair, which I'll link in here for you guys if you want to see that. And this video was inspired by some makeup that I'd received, which you'll see in this video. Gorgeous, gorgeous products. I hope you guys enjoy it. For my foundation, I'm using my Air Matte Foundation from Bourjois. And this is color beige, or light beige, excuse me, number three. I'm just going to squeeze some of that on here. I've really been impressed with this foundation. It says Air Matte, and it truly, truly does look like that. It looks like a, like a matte airbrush makeup once you've put it on. And I'm just using my brush, buffing brush from Real Techniques to blend it in. If you can hear the lawnmower, I do apologize. So I've put most of the product in the center of my face and I'm just gently blending it to the outside of my face. You can see that my body is a bit darker than my neck, so I'm just gonna blend it down onto my neck. I would like a little bit more cover, so I'm just going to do a little bit more. But you can see what a beautiful finish this foundation has. For my concealer, I'm still loving my Inglot Under Eye Concealer. I've been using it for months. I love that this concealer does not go and settle in the lines, and it doesn't look dry or cakey under the eyes, so it doesn't age me more <laughs> under my eyes. I'm just using my foundation brush. It's got a bit of foundation on it, and I'm just blending it into my ears. Um, I don't know if you guys know, but like, you know, it's good to have your ears not be shiny and your face matte. So I'm just kind of evening that out. For my contour, I'm also using that same foundation, Bourjois um, Air Matte, but this is color number 7 Toast. So it's just a few shades darker. And I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of that onto the back of my hand. And then I'm going to use the same brush I used for my foundation from Real Techniques. And I'm going to start doing my contour. So I'm first just placing the product there and then buffing it in gently. Make sure that when you do start your blending, you just take your brush and just wipe it off on a towel or a tissue just to get all the excess off and that'll help you to blend this color in a lot easier. Also gonna do a little bit of this just under the jawline. Because I have a fringe, I'm not going to contour my forehead, but it would be a good idea if you don't have a fringe just to contour over here a little bit and over there. And I'm just taking the excess that's on my brush, I'm kind of just pushing and blending it into my face, almost as a bit of a bronzer. Before I carry on, I just want to put a bit of moisturizer on my lips. This is the Elizabeth Arden 8 Hour Lip Protectant Stick, and that can just start moisturizing my lips for my lipstick later. Next, I'm going to use my Moonlight Pink, uh, the Illusion de Ombre from Chanel. This is part of the new collection, the LA Sunrise collection, which is absolutely beautiful. Um, the collection's got really colorful makeup, if I can say that, um, and really just beautiful, beautiful products. So they've got this one, which is Moonlight Pink, which you can see is a soft, pearly pink color. And then they also have a beautiful, deep, uh, like an emerald green. And they also have a beautiful, I almost want to say... Mm, a mix between like an indigo and a navy blue, like a beautiful, beautiful blue in these like cream um, eyeshadows. So I'm just blending this on from the lash, just onto the ball of the eye with a 217 from MAC. And then with a flat eyeshadow brush, I just want to intensify the color a little bit just here in the center. And then back to my 217, I'm just dipping it in there. And I'm going to use this as a soft highlighter on my face. This does have a soft pink tinge to it, as you can see. So it is going to help warm up my face a bit and make it look a bit summery. I just want to do the same on the cupid's bow. And then I'm going to do a bit of that just on the cheekbones as well and just blend it up into here. I love this color. It is so beautiful. I'm also just bringing a bit of that into the forehead, just here above the eyebrow. This just makes the face nice and tonal, bringing those rose tints into the skin. So next, also from Chanel, is this beautiful blush. It's called Sun Kiss Ribbon. How beautiful is that? And it's basically inspired by the Californian sunset, as far as I read up about it. I'm just going to use a nice big fluffy brush. It does come with its own little brush that looks like that. I just really want to create a soft finish, so let's use our bigger brush. And I'm just dipping it through all of that, patting off the excess. 
And this, I'm just gonna like softly, softly touch onto the face and just give myself a healthy, healthy cheek color there. I guess let's do eyebrows next. I am just gonna brush my eyebrows into place and get the extra product off of them. And I'm gonna use my Makeup Forever Aqua Brow. This is color number 40. It's just like a really, really dark brown color. It is quite a dark brown, but my hair is darker now, so I can go a bit darker. And the brush I'm using is actually a very, very affordable brush that a makeup artist friend of mine had pointed out at a drugstore here called This Skim. The brand is called Carla, and this is their brow liner brush. So I've just picked up a little bit of that brow color, just a little bit of that gel, and I've just pushed it into my brush, and I'm just going to gently start filling in, in like little hairlines. Just filling in my brows. Now with this eyebrow, it's a little bit higher than this one. So I'm just going to fill in softly just underneath my brow. And that'll just help to even them out a little bit. And what I always do, no matter what brow product I use, I love to just come afterwards with my mascara spoolie. And I just love to brush through this inner corner especially, just to blend it all through so it looks all natural. So I've given myself a bit of a fuller brow, not too much. You can see there's still so much product left on my hand here. Um, so this Makeup Forever product really does work well and you don't need as much as I had squeezed out. Next I want to carry on with the eye makeup. I'm going to use this little palette from um, Essence, which is a nice affordable drugstore brand. And this is the um, All About Nudes eyeshadows. And obviously this is the brown one. They've got a variety of, um, of these eyeshadow palettes. And they're really great. And I've actually been using this one as my everyday um, eyeshadow. And this one here I'm going to use, which is just like a softer brown with my 217. And all I want to do is just bring a bit of definition into the crease. So just in here, I want to blend that color in. Okay, for our next step, I'm going to use these. They're called Magnifies from Rimmel. They've got four different ones that's come out. I've got these two with me, which I'm going to use for this. And they basically have an eyeliner on the one end, and they have an eyeshadow on the other end, a cream eyeshadow. So I'm going to be using the two eyeliners for the look that we're doing today. But I have tested these, and they're really, really great. I'm going to start with the blue um, side of this one, and this one is called dark side of blue and we're using the eyeliner end as I said and I'm going to just line the bottom lash line quite heavily not in the waterline this doesn't work very well in the waterline it starts cracking after a while so just underneath and into this corner and also make sure that you get right in between your lashes like where they're growing out as well so such a nice blue. Next I'm going to use the Palladio eyeliner pen. So this is sky blue and I've tested this one as well and it lasts very well in the waterline. So we're going to use this one just in the waterline. I found with these liners that they need a little bit of time to set. So if we want to smudge them now is the time to do it. And I just want to smudge it lightly. We don't want to make it thicker. I just want to make sure that line is a little bit softer. For our next step, I'm going to use the other one um, of these magnifiers from Rimmel. And this one is Back to Blacks. And again, using the eyeliner end, not the eyeshadow. And with this, you can see it's got a nice sharp tip. It's also got a twist, which is nice. And we're going to draw a line on our top uh, lash line. And we're going to make it a little bit thicker and bring it out to a slight bit of a flick. Um, we're not doing a 50s flick or something like that. Um, so we're just going to do a line. And take this right into this inner water line. So once you have a basic line, go in and make it a bit thicker. As I said with this eyeliner, it takes a little bit of time to set. So don't look up and let it smudge on your top lid because it will. Um, just try to look down as much as possible until it has set properly. Once you're happy with the thickness of the line, what you want to do is on this outer end, just extend it. And you want to join it up in a little triangle. You can see what I'm doing here. I'm just joining up with that blue line at the bottom. And I'm just drawing a little triangle on that end. And when we release, it looks like that. So I've just seen that I do want to make this line in my crease a bit darker. So I'm going to use this darker color. And just make it a little darker, just here on the outer corners especially. Then over to mascara. I'm using this one from Bourjois. It's called Volume 1 Second Mascara. 
I um, really, really love this mascara. I can really build and build and build lots of volume, which is what we're going to do. And I'm really just going to build, 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 do multiple, multiple layers. I would like to apply some lashes. I'm not going to do a full lash. You're most welcome to if you want to do a full lash. I am going to use just these lashes from Eyelua. And they're basically individual lashes. You can see this one's only got medium size in it. And this one's got short, medium and long. So I think I'm going to use this one and I'm just going to start building up my lashes with individuals. Because I've put some of my um, duo adhesive eyelash glue on a blob there and then I just took these and I just dipped the little tips of them in the glue and I'm just resting them there to set a little bit and I've done six of the short ones, eight of the medium ones and six of the long ones. So I'm going to start building up my lashes, obviously shorter ones to the inner corner, medium to the middle and the longer ones to the outer corner. I just want to move my mirror a little bit lower, that'll make it easier. So look down onto your mirror. And then we can start placing on our lashes. This is a short one. I realize I'm probably just a bit too far away from the camera. Sorry, guys. So now we're going to do our medium ones. And just placing them on top of my lashes. And now for the long ones on these outer corners. Yeah, I think that's good. Just a little bit of extra definition and length. Okay, now it's time for lips while we wait for eyelash glue to dry. Now, as always, I love to show you guys options. So we're going to do a quick natural lip and I'm going to show you a red lip as well. And um, for me, when I think of Georgia May Jagger, I do think more of a red lip um, just because of the campaigns that she's done. But let's do a natural lip first. So I'm going to do and my lip liner stripped down from MAC. And I want to just make my lips a little bit bigger just because her lips are also a little bit fuller. So just on these outer corners here, I'm curving it a little and I'm doing a lazy cupid, not a sharp cupid, especially for the natural lip. The red lip will do it a bit different. I'm just going to use my finger to blend in the line. This is almost a bit of a Kylie Jenner lip, hey? And then for lipstick, I'm using a lipstick from Rimmel. This is the um, Kate. A collection from Kate, the Nudes collection, and number 42. And it's just a nice brownie pink, like a nude. You can see how this line on the outside has made my lips look quite a bit fuller. I feel a little bit um, Botoxed. But um, it's a very good method to make your lips look a little bit bigger. If you wanted to do another nude lip color, um, something like a peach or a coral undertone would also work really, really well um, with this makeup look. So let's quickly do the red lip. For the red lip, I'm going to use this um, Superstay 24 Hour Ultimate Red from Maybelline. This is, I must honestly say, the first long lasting or like, you know, stay proof lipsticks that I have tried that I actually like. Um, I find all the other ones, you know, they're all basically a liquid and then a lip balm or a lip gloss on the other end. But I just find all the other ones that I've tried really make my lips feel so tight and it feels like I've actually got paint or lacquer on my lips. Where with this one, it's still soft, it still flexes, um, but it really does last um, the whole day. I wouldn't say 24 hours, but it definitely does last six to eight hours. So again, I'm just going to use this. I'm going to draw in my lip and I'm going to draw it a little bit bigger than my own lip line. And for the cupid, for the red lip, I do want to have a little bit of a sharper cupid. And with the red for the bottom lip, I don't want to go too big on the bottom lip. Um, just because I think with the red lip, it might look too much. We still want it to look good, you know what I mean? We don't want to have this big red pout. Just going over the second layer, just to intensify the color a bit. Don't push your lips together. Wait for it to dry. One tip I can give you is don't go too thick with this. You kind of just want to do one, two layers max. You don't want to go more than that. And that's two thin layers, not two thick layers. And on the other end, we've got our lip balm. So once this is set, you can feel that it's dry. Just pop your lip balm over. And there you go. And I love that this color is a nice orange red. So it really goes well with the Georgia May Jagger inspired makeup look that we're doing. Hope you guys enjoyed that and I'll see you again soon.